Guys, I am so excited to share with you how I made this Valentine's service card. Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. We are so excited to have you on this channel. So if you're looking to learn Photoshop, this is the right channel for you. Hit on the subscribe button and let's get started with this tutorial. So guys, the first thing we're going to do is you want to set up your canvas size to a 10 by 10 resolution is 300. Now we want to go to our folder and we are going to drag in our background. So I'm going to set this up in the top and I'm just going to scale it down and notice that my transform has been activated. If yours is not activated, press command T or uh, control T if you are on Windows, command T if you are on Mac. I'm going to move this in the middle and double click to accept it. So next we want to go to our folder and we're going to bring in our subject. I'm going to double click to accept. Now we want to flip our subject. So go to your edit and go to transform and select flip horizontal. Now we want to go ahead and take off the background. So this time I want to use a quick selection tool. So go under your magic one, click to see the other options, choose the quick selection tool. Now go up to the top of your screen, choose select subject. Now Photoshop takes out the background for you. Now we want to go to our layers panel, add a layer max and basically the background is taken off for you. Now we are going to set this in the middle. So I'm going to hold down command, make a selection of the thumbnail for our subject. And I'm going to click on the thumbnail of the picture itself. Command C to make a copy. I'm going to add a new layer. So I'm going to click on the plus icon and then command V to paste it. Now I'm going to turn this off and you can delete it. So you can basically get rid of it. Now, this is the fresh image without a background. I'm going to go ahead and add another layer max, pick up my brush tool with my foreground as black. We want to make sure that we choose a soft brush. You want to make sure that your hardness is at zero. So we want to brush um, the bottom portion of our subject to blend, to blend him into the background. To do that, you want to make sure your flow is at a hundred percent and you can go ahead and begin to brush and you want your brush to be a little bit big. So you get a very nice blend. We're not so worried about the green around his jacket because as we layer things is going to hide it. So you want to go ahead and rescale. So your subject is a little bit bigger like that. So with this set for us, we want to go ahead and make a copy of our subject. So I'm going to press command J to make a copy. We're going to move this and we want to go ahead and basically scale it a little bit bigger and double click to accept. We want to move this subject down. So the little one is on top. I'm going to scale him a little bit more and move him in like that. Now, what we want to do is that we want to add a black and white adjustment on to the background. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my adjustment and choose a black and white gradient. So everything in the background is black and white, except the subject on top. And I really like this effect. Now, what we're going to do is that we want to go back to our folder and we want to bring in this heart and we're just going to set it in place just like this. And we want to obviously take it off our subject so we can basically select this and move this below our subject. So it's actually behind the subject like that. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to just go ahead and reduce the opacity of that a little. So it's sort of blending in. So once you have this all set, we want to go ahead and type in our theme. So we are going to go to 
pick our type tool and I'm just going to go ahead and use the bada boom and we're going to type in with our foreground as white and I'm going to use my scale we're going to scale it double click and now we want to move it up so it's above and we're going to set it right there I'm going to go ahead and rescale it a little and double click and accept it now we want to add a drop shadow so double click on it and just add a drop shadow we want to change the drop shadow color to black so it shows now we want to increase the distance a little so we can see the effect click OK now we want to change just the apostrophe we want to make that red so I'm going to just pick up my foreground color and change it so we have this nice. I'm going to pick my type tool and this time we want to type in love. So I'm going to just type in the L. I'm going to use my move tool. We want to scale it, make it big, double click on it. And we want to change the font this time to breathing personal use and we are going to move that and set that somewhere here. We want to go ahead and scale it even a little bit more. So it's big like this. And we want to add a drop shadow. So you want to double click on the layer in the layers panel. The drop shadow, um, the layer style comes up. Let's pick a background. We want to change the background shadow. We want to change the shadow to white and I'm going to click OK. We want to move the distance down a little so it's not too much. We're going to go ahead and click OK. Now we want to use the same font for the rest of our text. So I'm going to go ahead and make a duplicate command J, make a duplicate of this font. So I'm going to double click it. I'm going to highlight and we're going to go to our property we want to turn off the cap so we have a lower case so i went ahead to change my font to timbaland so um you can again then again you can use whatever font you want so with this set in place we are going to go ahead pick our type tool and we want to add the name of the church so i'm going to go ahead and choose the avena and I'm just going to go ahead and type in hope. So I'm going to double click and change the font color to white. Now you want to go under your property and make this all caps. And I'm just going to set it right there. I'm going to go ahead and scale it down a little and set it in place like that and to move it up. So we have Hope Baptist Church. Now we want to bring in the logo. So I'm going to go back to the folder and we're going to drag in the church logo and we are going to set it right here, scale it down and move it here like that. So with this in place, we want to go ahead and add the pastor's name. So we're going to click on our title, make a copy, command J, make a copy move that down double click and we are going to change that to the name of now we're just going to highlight and we're going to go ahead and make this bold and keep the width very thin and we're going to scale this and we're just going to move it and set that right here so it's small but also the name is still um shown so something like this and once you're done with this we want to go ahead and obviously add the date and location so i'm going to go ahead and add a verse since this is talking about god's love and john 3 16 is the verse that goes with this so i'm going to click on my type tool and i'm going to type in here and I'm just going to type in John. I'm going to go ahead and highlight and I'm going to choose the all Gothic 
and I'm going to make sure that my font is white. I'm going to use my move tool and move this somewhere here. I'm going to double click. You go to my property and you want to click on the double T to change your font to all caps. And this is good. I'm going to set it right there. I'm actually going to make a copy of this font. So command J, make a copy, move that down, double click on it and change that to February. We're going to move that and set that somewhere here like so. And I'm going to double click to accept. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Now we're going to go ahead, pick our type tool. And this time I am going to go ahead and type in 14. Now we want to highlight and make that red. So I'm going to click on my red and change that to red. Now we can see it because it's below. So we go into our layers panel, move this all the way up. And we are going to set that right beneath our February. We're going to scale it and move it down a little. It's too big. Good enough. I'm going to double click to accept. Now I'm going to make a copy of this command J and I'm going to move this out. Double click and type in 14th highlight and change that to white. So what we're going to do is click on the icon for your default color and flip it to white pick your move tool and we're just going to go ahead and scale this down double click to accept now move this and place it right there we are going to click on our title for the church command j make a copy move that all the way down double click on it and basically type in the venue So I went ahead to basically type in the address as well as add in the time. I'm going to scale this a little and I'm going to go ahead and move it up and double click to accept. And notice that when I'm moving my layers, I have my guidelines on, which helps me to align. So if yours is not on, all you have to do is go under view, make sure your snaps are turned on and that will help you as you move things we are going to add a splash of red to our background so i'm gonna click on our background the black and white adjustment and that is where i want to add a bit more of a splash effect so i'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and we want to click on our foreground choose the color red with your color picker click OK. Now we want to go and pick our brush, but we want to change this brush and choose something a little bit more fun. So I'm just going to choose um, this, which is the ultimate pastel. And I'm going to go ahead and increase my brush head by clicking on my right bracket. So this is almost like a spongy brush go ahead and reduce my flow to about a three percent and i'm just going to go ahead and do some dabbing if you want this so you can do a little bit splash here and there to give it that effect like that and we can Please stop it. We can go ahead and reduce the opacity so it doesn't show up too much. Yeah, I know it's on top of the subject. So what we're going to do is that we are going to add a layer max. And then we are going to flip our foreground. And I'm going to reduce my brush head. And we are basically going to take that off our subject with our white so it doesn't show up on our subject. So the other thing that we have to do is that we want to blend in our subject. So you want to make sure that you, you 
click on your subject layer and then you blend your subject in like that and this is really good now you realize that the heart line is on the subject so we are going to click on the heart we're going to click on the heart and add a layer max now we are going to pick our brush tool we all know that black hides white reveals so we are going to pick a soft brush and you want to make sure that your hardness is at zero and we also want to increase our flow back to a hundred percent reduce your brush head a little and basically paint in this area to hide that portion so now that we have all of this set we want to create one file so click on your top layer hold down shift option command e it will create one file for you now this is the final touch up so you want to click on your layer and go to filter and choose camera raw filter what you want to do to make your flyer a little bit more interesting since it looks very grayish is to take your temperature back now whenever you take your temperature back it makes your image look a little bit more modern so bear that in mind anytime you have an image which looks very muted and outdated is the temperature that you want to play with to give you a very nice look now we want to go ahead and increase our contrast now we're beginning to see a very nice interest now i want to go ahead and reduce the exposure so the focus is more on the center and i'm liking this now we want to increase our vibrance and saturation as well now this is all preference if you want everything to pop a little bit more you can bump up your saturation and your vibrance so with this little tweaks you can go ahead and click ok and i want to show you this is the before now this is the after you realize that with the camera raw you can dramatically change your final touch so guys this brings us to the end of this lesson i wanted to keep it very short simple but at the same time give you something to play with over the weekend so till next time guys please be safe please if you're new don't forget to like subscribe share this with somebody so that they too can get to play in photoshop so until next time guys be safe bye